how to get sin CSV of five axis cantilever roba. This five axis cantilever roba designed and manufactured by the factory. After, after designed, they will provide each component of the structure. Suppose foundation, they give RH dot IGS. The X axis they provide RHX dot IGS. The Y they provide RHY dot IGS. Z RHZ dot IGS. C RHC dot IGS. B RHB dot IGS. After surveying these data, we found some disadvantage. The first thing is because the y axis and the x and the z axis mix up in solid work. We have to adjust these of every structure by rotating x axis positive 90 degrees to let the machine stand up. The second disadvantage is the provided structure. The original points is at this point, which is located at the C axis intersection, intersecting with B axis. The cross points in this point. But for better use, we better to set the original points at the center tip of the tool. That means we have to lift up Z direction, the tool length of every component of the structure. The third is we have to draw RGB these three errors at the original points to mark the TCP point and then translate into IGS file and adopt polychance to translate the new IGS file into S file before you sync input before feeding a CS file being loaded into CMS CIPP program. This is uh, the whole procedures we have to do. Now we try to state in more detail. The first things we have to open the O file. The first one is rh.igs, the foundation, and open it. After translated, the model will display on the center of the screen. We can use the finger roll the wheel of the mouse to the front to shrinkage the view of the model and uh, pull the wheel back to enlarge the view 
of the component. And how to rotate? Simply press the wheel of the mouse and move the mouse. You can rotate the model wherever you want. Then, after the model display on the screen, we save it. Use this function. The name dot prt. The style dot prt. The name rh as well. And that means load rh dot igs and output rh dot prt. To translate the component of the foundation into the parts of SOLIDWORKS. Then we can use the same method to load rhx.igs and uh, translate into rhx.prt and then rhy dot prt and then rhz dot prt rhc dot prt the last one rhb dot prt after this data igs file into the system we can show the assembly of the machine how to do it we just uh, close the file to clean the screen and then open the awaken assembly file. Close here. Okay. And then insert PRT from foundation first. One by one. RH dot PRT open. As rh.prt in the model will follow the mouse if you press the left button it will stop at that pressed position but we want this foundation located at the, its original point the way to do is to choose this button and we'll go back to the original points you can see the Y is up and then we can insert the X component RHX and the original points and then insert z rhz dot prt at the original point and then insert rhy dot prt and then insert rhc dot prt the last one insert rhb dot prt and we can see the original points mark in here and do it again the tool lens is from these points to these points how to do it we just see the coordinate of the tool tip because this point is zero then this coordinate is y to see the difference of the y this point and this point we rotate the tool and enlarge it how to find the center of the tool tip simply put the cursor at the edge of the tool tip the system will highlight a circle simply press the left button of the mouse it will mark the diameter 
of the tool tip 3.18 millimeter and the center 0 minus 284.06 and 0 so we know we have to lift 284.06 layer after okay how to do the rotating and shifting operating matches operating first of all we have to close the file to clean the screen and then the same open an assembly file with nothing and then start it from the foundation insert rh.prt and at the original points you can see the model in here and you can see the line rh stated in here but from these two characters says this is fixed if this is fixed then we can do nothing no notation no shifting so we have to release it how to do it put the mouse at this line and press the right button of the mouse and choose a floating function here the fixed words will be removed okay then how to rotate it just uh, pick it and then use the rotating function from data XYZ rotating around X axis 90 degree okay you can see the y direction the size and uh, z direction to the sky the foundation stand up so after this we have to move to a 4.06 millimeter according to z direction how to do it the same pick this one first and choose movement function and choose from delta xyz and lift delta z to a4 point o6 okay so the foundation done we have to save it use another file name S choose save and no calculation save the same style dot prt the file name we give another file name use rh1 safe okay then we can use the same procedure to translate rh x dot prt translate it into rh x one dot prt and the same to get rh z one dot prt rh c one dot prt as well as rh b one dot prt after these two transformation finished we have to do one thing is very important we have to let the pool 
separate the tool from the RHB1.prt and uh, leave the pure B structures layer. How to do it? The same. Close the file. No saving. And open an assembly weakened file. And uh, insert the brhb1.prt at the original points and uh, rotating the view. to the position we can see in detail. After surveying the B structures is simpler than a tool. Then it's better to delete the B structures to leave the tool layer and save the B tool. Enlarge the whole components, whole surface. And how to remove the B structures? Simply put the cursor at these points. You can see our HB1 surface 3. So this is surface 3. Here is surface 3. Pick it and uh, press the delete key of the keyboard. And uh, Yes, it will remove this surface. And the same, surface 4. Pick surface 4. Press the button of the delete key of the keyboard and yes. And this one is surface 5. Pick the surface 5. Press the delete key of the keyboard. Type yes. And uh, this is inner surface, is surface 18. Pick surface 18 and uh, press the delete key, delete button of the keyboard and uh, yes. The rest is the tool itself. Then we can use, save another file, choose the style.prt, give it a name of the tool, we name it our tool and uh, save it. Okay, after the tool finished, we right now just cross the file, no saving, and uh, open a pure assembly file. and uh, insert RHP1 and the original points and notate it supposed to here and enlarge the whole surface we know 3, 4, 5 is belong to the big components we just uh, pick the rest and that did it it. Okay, let's do it. And use deliver all function. Right now, it's only these three surfaces on the screen. Then the pure B structure we get. And then save other file. Use the style.prt and then it RB2. Okay. Okay. Right now. Every, every component 
of the structure finished. Then the last one we have to draw is the RGB arrow. How to do it? We do we did we do one the red arrow uh, for x axis. The rest uh, leave to the user duplicate it the, to do it. Okay, the same. Cross the old file, no saving. These three arrows is a parts, is a component. Right now, we use the element function, the path function, to open a pure path function and uh, use the sketch function. Not a lot. The reason why? Because we have to choose a best surface. We choose SY best surface. Then open the sketch. Use the straight light to, de to divide it. Start it from the original points and 180 degrees give a arbitrary distance. Arbitrary distance. Arbitrary distance. And uh, go back to original points. The reason why we have to leave a distance in here because we want to use rotating functions to like rotate it as a model. If with one point, it will get troubles at the inclined cylinder, inclined surface. Okay, then we can use intelligent diameter to lay this one mark as 50 millimeter and uh, mark here as 30 millimeter and uh, mark here as, as 4 millimeter and then this distance give a very small one. Suppose zero, zero 0.05 and OK. Oh, one more in here. We use this function. to mark this one four. Right now, everything is fine. This is the profile of the arrow. Then, how to rotate it as a model? In here is a function. We press it, then we can use all this method to rotate the profile into a model. We use rotating, the shift rotating. We choose it and uh, to, to choose rotating axis, we press here and uh, choose a uh, rotating axis. You can see the arrow and say OK. But this is X axis at the original points. But we want the, to change the color of the model. How to do it? We just uh, put the cursor at the top of the geometry model and uh, press the right button of the mouse and uh, pick the R shape 
and the pick this one and the color and left hand and use the mouse to pick the color you want and say OK so this one is OK but we have to move it to the mechanical original points that means at 00Z zero zero to A4 point oh six millimeter position and how to do it the first things we have to save it use another file name we call it X arrow After that, we have to do the transformation to leave Z, the tool lens. Then we, the same, we clean the fire and open an assembly purifier. And then insert X arrow dot PRT and the original points at zero points you can see zero points then we can move it your move function according from delta SYZ lift Z to a six Twenty-four point oh six. He said, "You not, we not choose the components. Okay, we have to choose it. Before choose it, the same we have to re release it as a floating component, and pick it, and then use move function." from delta SYZ lift to delta Z to a four point oh six okay it's moving at the top you can see here but another sign the origin point <laughs> to go to the minus to a four point oh six then finished then we save it use another file name no calculation use dot prt give the name as arw1 and save it okay the y we have to change color to green and then doing the transformation lift up to a four point Oh, 06 millimeters and save it as y arw1 dot prt the z the same passes save it as z arw1 dot prt with blue color with blue color so everything done we can before we leave solid work we have to change dot prt into igs file before we can use polychains how to do it the same cross the old file and open assembly file the welcome assembly file and insert 
the foundation RH1 first at the original points and now we translate it into IGS file how to do it use save it as another new file and the style choose IGS start dot IGS style and give the name RH1 dot IGS and save it okay and then the same we can save rhx1 dot igs rhz1 dot igs rhc1 dot igs rb2 dot igs r2 dot igs after all these igs converted we close the window we close the solid work no safe and then open polychains in here we can see Arduino computer graphics and the polychains use the left button pick twice press twice and open polychains the same we demonstrate only one foundation transformations as demonstration the way to do it is first of all press translate choose import 3d geometry plenty of function we pick IGS v5.3 via Okino ASCII file and uh, translate to the correct file and uh, to pick the foundation rh1.igs and open the file this line we have to emphasize the display model we can see in here this is x this is y the z is upward don't see this coordinate system if the model is this s this y and stand up then it's okay otherwise we have to cancel it and to pick or remove this function do it again you won't miss it okay the IGS file being translated into polychains you can see x y and stand up so this is correct pause okay we have to save the rest file the first of all we have to save the positive of the model use export 3d geometry the format is direct x file format and uh, just okay to save the positive normal direction position and uh, give the name rh1a and then we save 
the negative direction of the model. How to do it? It's port 3D geometry. Use direct S5 format. And uh, flip polygon normal. That means upside down. Negative the polygon normal direction to the, the other direction, the other way. And the rever reverse orientation of all polygons and the uh, normals. These two items picked. Okay. And uh, the opposite direction of the model uh, give a different name. Uh, H1B and save. And uh, reset thing. No safe. And then we have to combine the positive with the negative geometry. And how to combine it? We use translate and input 3D geometry. The output we just done become the input right now. We choose direct S file and pick the correct position and uh, pick uh, H1A, the positive side, first. Okay, yes. Uh, H1A stand here. And then import 3D geometry, the rest file. Uh, HEB, the negative side of the model. Okay. Yes. I H E B in. And then we save it. Use export 3D geometry. Use direct S file style. Pick positive side only. Okay. And give the name only I H one. Yes. After the procedure we just stated, we use polychains to translate the foundation from rh1.igs into rh1.x. The reason why we have to output positive side first and then negative side first, next and then combine the positive and negative, simply because the IGS file output of SOLIDWORKS will output plenty of surface. The SOLIDWORKS don't know which surface is positive, which surface is negative. For the curve surface, is combined by plenty of uh, triangle surface. For each triangle surface, is only provide one direction of normal direction. As the model display on the screen of our system, the light will be reflected by the normal direction. But the back of the surface without any reflection will become dark. So in this way, the surface be reflected can be seen on the screen. The dark surface cannot be seen. So we cannot uh, see the model beautifully. It's very ugly. That's the reason why we need uh, the positive to reflect the light, and uh, we need the negative to reflect the light as well. So the lights can come anywhere, and from top and from bottom, all can be reflected. 
So the whole model can be viewed in any direction. Okay, the rest use the same method. We can translate, we can get RH x1 dot x. We can get RH y1 dot x. We can get RH z1 dot x. We can get R b2 dot x. We can get R2 dot x. And all these finished X file, we have to copy into our CMS CAPP's data file fault before we can engage filling in CSV file. Okay. We forget the copy dot x file into CMS GAC data. This process we direct to teach how to generate the CSV file. Exit. No save. We can go into CMS GAV and into data. And this is the new one. Okay, let's see. We use the copy the file as new one and into the new one to fill in the data we prepared. S file started from the foundation, RH1. Give the mesh, then the zero, object, then the zero. Just like before we are talking. And uh, the foundation attached to zero. That means attached to itself, zero object. We stated the object file and the attach to first, and the leave the axis definitions later. The RHX1, the X axis, then the mesh Z1, object 1. The object 1 attached to object 0 at the top of the foundation. RHY1, the y axis, is match 2 and then as object 2 is attached to object 1. That means attached to the xx component. Uh, H Z1, the Z axis component. Give the name mesh 3. Give the object name object 3. Object 3 attached to object 2. Object 2 is the Y axis component. That means the Z axis is at the top of Y axis. RHC1, the mesh then 4, the object then 4 as well. The object 4 attached to object 3. That means the C component is at the top of Z component. Actually, it's at the bottom of Z component. That means as the Z move, move the C is the children of the Z will follow. RB2 
the mesh land 5 object land 5 as well the object 5 attached to object 4 object 4 is the C component that means the B structure is under the C structure as C structure move the B structure will follow this is main component these are the definition of limitation in our system we have uh, three ways to define limitation of the machine this one is first one how to define it we use a dummy x file no show give the up mesh 6 object 6 attached to nothing we have to see translocate is 4 4 means to state the first axis limitation the first axis limitation is this one this is the first axis of the motion control car the up dimmy is 100 the negative dimmy is 200 2900 5 is the second axis limitation positive 1200 negative minus 100 6 is the third axis limitations and this is force limitation this is the fixed limitation the sixth limitation the fifth limitation in here we can see is the C rotating positive 306 degree to negative 306 degrees so the limitation could be nine millimeter or rotating degree depends on the mechanism of the structure so this is one way to set the limitations by our CSV file controlled by CMS CAPP the second is control by ITRT's motion control cars hardware limitation you can set the hardware limitations for individual axis as well the third method is by means of the real sensor the limit sensor as the movements of the machine touch the positive side of x-axis if you stop as the machine touch the positive x limit sensor the whole system will stop there okay this is what we talk about the, the three method of setting the limitation to let the machine run safely in this line r dot x give the mesh 11 
object the same, 11. The object 11 attached to 5. The 5 is the B construction. And the rest 3, X, L, Y, L, Z, L. The X, L, object 12, attached to the B component as well. The Y, L, object 13, attached to B component as well. The Z, L, 14, attached to B component as well. These three arrows we stated already as we draw them in SOLIDWORK is at the position of the original point of the mechanism of the machine. Not at the Cartesian coordinate original, but at the original at the cross points of C axis and the B axis at that point is the mechanism original point. In here we have to emphasize first the last line continue to the end we mark it as 6 6 means this machine is 5 axis machine defined as S, Y, Z B, C uh, if this one mark 2 it is a loba, 6 axis loba, and it could be 13 as a polishing tool with different uh, mechanism structure. Okay, we leave the most important one to state before we finish talking about the CSV table. From F to the end is to state the relationship between virtual machine and the physical machine. In a computer, all this thing is belong to the virtual machine. With the real, act, real axis control is to control the physical machine. We started from the axis 1, motion control car. RH X1, X component. The F color say is 1. If 0 means nothing, it's a foundation. 1 means translation, means this X component is doing a translation as the machine goes. How to do the transformation? We will which direction for the transformation? The direction is marked by N1, N2, N3. In here, N1 is 1, N2 is 0, N3 is 0. It's marked positive X direction, not geometry X direction. So we know the X component is transformation movements. Its direction is S direction. So this is X axis. And how about 2? 2 is RHY1 dot X. And translocate mark 1 means it is a translation component. 
and a position and the direction 0 1 0 is y direction so this is y axis the same the z is 0 0 1 for the third axis is z component movements SYZ you can neglect S pivot pi, Y pivot Z pivot is only used movement direction but for 4 in here RB2 B axis component use motion control force axis the F column say it is 2 is the ro rotating component rotating components what's the rotating axis he mark 0 1 0 n 1 0 n 2 1 n 3 0 that means RB2 is rotating around Y axis that's why we call it a B component. The rotating is very important. We have to mark the rotating pivot points. We get these points from SOLIDWORKS to see the rotating points. and uh, write down in here and the fifth axis RHC1 is C axis in here marked 2 is rotating component rotating axis is N10, N20, N31 is 001 is along Z direction and the rotating points zero zero six three zero point zero six we have to get from SOLIDWORKS to get the center point of that hole this one as well we taught a radius just to put the cursor on the edge of the circle of the arc of the, the round circle and the press that button and he will show this coordinate at the button line and we mark it and copy into these columns okay everything done we just uh, close it save it yes and uh, say yes and uh, save it yes and uh, everything yes after finished we have to make sure our new one is correct we just uh, remove everything inside this system and uh, use sync input and uh, to select the CSV file audio one and open the file it will display on the screen after display we have to make sure everything is okay first things we have to make sure the X file is okay according to the screen what we we have seen it seems all S file all display including the RGB arrow and then we have no the attachment the parent and the children's relationship is okay or not we pick teach J1 is the first axis of control car that means 
the x axis we press it as the limit station 100 we are talking already no more it will stop at the positive 100 limitation position but we can move to the negative direction until 2900 if you want the coordinate move the dynamic join will follow real time by the motion control car our program do nothing but refresh the position right down here so the x movements the x parent move the y z c b and the two children follow it's okay and the y j2 is the y as the y move the parent x no move z c b and two and the arrow join will follow is okay as well z move x y two parents don't move c b two arrow follow is correct as well and the four is b rotating the tool and arrow follow the rest stay there and the C rotating SYZ parent don't move the B tool and the arrow move so everything is correct then today our talking about how to get sync CSV of five axis cantilever robust demonstrations to the end.